What's up everyone? My name is Asian Mr. Hippie and welcome back to another recap video of the Smash Summer Games Wild Waste Tournament. Now for any of you guys out there who are watching this for the first time and wondering what the series is all about, first of all, howdy. And second of all, this series is basically just me recapping and highlighting all the events that have occurred during the Smash Summer Games Wild Waste Tournament. If this is the first video you're watching out of the series, you didn't really miss out on much in saying that both teams, the Cowboys and the Randy Bandits, both have two points each after two weeks of the competition. Now with that all being said, let's jump into week three of the Smash Summer Games Wild Waste Tournament. Now the first competition for week three was the 50-50 shootout. Now the aim of the game is that one person from each team must come forth and face each other in a rock paper scissors match. But that's not where it ends as the winner of that match gets first pick on one of two guns. One of which is loaded. After taking their guns and traveling five paces away from each other, they must then turn, face each other and then shoot. With the unfortunate person being shot at, having to die in a dramatic fashion. Or something like that. Now because of the fact that this game was based on luck and chance and that there was no skill whatsoever, it was really hard to pinpoint who was the best and worst performer. However, for the best performance, I've got to give it to Mari and Bose in the final round of that match, in which they trash talk each other like it was nothing. What's it like knowing you're about to die? I don't know, you tell me. I already wrote your tombstone out. It says loser on it. Oh! oh. Yeah, well, I hope the Randy bitches got a replacement line. <gasps> oh, hey, hey, that's rude. She said the B word. Hey, that's she, rude. She changed her name. That's actually a better team name. However, for the worst death, I have to give it to the gun and the Jovan V laser corn face off. Because of the fact that that was the sole moment that Jovan had, like, a boss moment and then it just got. <laughs> failed. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's jammed again. <laughs> Sorry. It's a surprise. It doesn't want Joe to win. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> However, taking out that competition by one point, the winners for the 50-50 shootout were the Cowboys with four survivors against the Randy Bandits, three. Now the next challenge in the third week of the competition was the Spittoon Spit. Now the aim of the game is that each person had to spit tobacco in the form of ping pongs onto a table full of jars and mugs with different points associated with each jar and mug. The team with the most points scored at the end wins. Now there were a few contenders for who I thought was the star performer for that challenge. In particular, Wes and Bose. And more so Wes because he got his one in, in a tremendous trick shot. However, because of the fact that these two got their practice shots in and that the practice shots did not count, obviously they, they couldn't really get the star performer. However, hands down, the person who I believe deserves to get star performer for that challenge has to go to Jovan for literally cinching the win when it mattered the most with the final spit. Oh, Jovan! Oh, oh wait, Mario, Jovan, Mario, you Mario. can't get LVP now! Oh, yes, you can't! No. And for the weakest performer, I have to, I'm just gonna go out and say it. Whoever created that gosh dang game, it was literally impossible. Only four people managed to get their spit in, so... Uh, and it was, uh, uh, it was, nah. But as I earlier said before, the winners winning by 10 points were the Cowboys with 15 points against the Randy Bandits 5 points scored by Flitz, who was the only other person to score for their team. Now after week 3 of the Smosh Games Wild West Tournament, the score is as such. The Cowboys finally break the tie leading with 4 points against the Randy Bandits 2. And with only one week left in the competition, things are bound to get intense and serious as we reach the finale of the tournament.
but that's for a future video. That is all I have for you guys today for this video in particular. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below, as well as letting me know who you believe should have gotten best and worst performer for a particular challenge. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you at least agree with me in the sense that, that the Splatoon challenge was just... Why? It was... Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in the kind of content I create, which includes skits of vlogs and challenges and recap videos and whatnot, I highly suggest you consider subscribing to this channel. If you want to check out me covering the final week of the Smash Games Wild West Tournament, you can click on this link right here. Or if you want to check out the entire playlist of all videos related to the Smash Games Wild West Tournament, including non-competitive ones, you can click on this link right here. But that is all I have for you guys for this particular video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!